Theranostics is a really revolutionary concept. Every patient actually is different, every therapy is different, and to find out the right treatment for the right patient at the right time, that is actually what is Theranostics. Theranostics is the idea of diagnostic and therapy together. If you can look at it and see it via a diagnostic probe, then you can use a therapy probe and treat it. So the idea is if you can see it, you can treat it. There are always two parts. One is your vector, your ligand, which is targeting the tumor cell. And the second part is a radioisotope, which is stably bound to this compound. So we can use different isotopes for imaging, for example, for PET CT or SPECT CT, but also for therapy using beta emitters or alpha emitters. I came across Dr. Baum at a medical conference in Toronto uh, where I was looking for advancements and treatments for my own disease. Four weeks later, I was on a plane for my first Gallium 68 Dota Talk scan in Bad Berka, Germany. The Aeronostic Center Bad Berka was originally founded in 1997, so 20 years ago. The initial focus for uh, treatment uh, was actually neuroendocrine tumors and the first patient was actually a very young patient and uh, he had a rare tumor, paraganglioma, was very far progressed so he could not walk anymore and by our treatment he was able to return to what is very important for a German boy soccer playing. Since then we have applied uh, more than 20 different types of novel radiopharmaceuticals, first in human application. And also we have developed various protocols in where we can personalize therapy for patients. The treatment we are using for neuroendocrine tumors uh, is called PRRT, Peptide Receptor Radioligand Therapy, which means that you use a specific peptide, in this case a somatostatin analog, labeled with a beta emitter or with an alpha emitter for targeting specifically the neuroendocrine tumor cell. Here we can actually visualize the tumor bulk in the patient. We then also characterize the different uh, physical and physiological parameters of the patient, kidney function tests and blood tests, and then we can tailor the amount of the radiopharmaceutical that we are giving to the patient. The patient typically undergoes in the first phase of treatment in PRRT, uh, three to four cycles. We really look at a variety of parameters, uh, patient-specific as well as tumor-specific, and then restage the patients. Of course, the patients can be again offered another cycle of PRRT if necessary. We are tailoring the, the treatment activity uh, precisely to the situation of the patient itself. And uh, according to the Theranostic principles, we can also perform post-therapeutic imaging on the ward itself. We are using an in-house developed dose protocol. We call it a Bad Berka dose protocol. Our main goal was to develop a dosimetry method which is practical in our daily clinical routine and to make the dosimetry available for each of our patients. We started treatment of patients here in this center in 1998. We are now treating uh, more than 400 patients uh, with neuroendocrine tumors per year. From originally diagnosed as being stage four, I'm now what's classed as a clinically stable disease. I'm, I'm in here in the hands with the experts, so I can't say any better than the gentleman's helping me because him and his team have done minor miracles in my opinion. We started actually with treating neuroendocrine tumors, but then uh, another very promising ligand was found, which is called PSMA, prostate-specific membrane antigen. This is a, a structure which is heavily expressed in metastatic and hormone refractory prostate cancer. We've been doing uh, the PSMA radioligand uh, therapy since 2013 now, and in fact, uh, we were the first in the world to perform the lutetium-labeled PSMA uh, radioligand therapy. In prostate cancer, we were very impressed by the drastic treatment effects. So there were patients, you know, coming in on a wheelchair, and after one or two treatments, they were driving their own car to our center. 
In 2011, we started what is called the Saronostics World Congress, and this Congress has meanwhile traveled all around the world to India, to Australia, and it will be in Jeju in Korea in March 2019, and this is actually the first proceedings book uh, we published from our Congress in 2011. When I first made my visit to the clinic, not very many people in the United States knew about Theranostics. I started working to make access available around the world. The FDA just approved January 25th, 2018, Lutetium 177, uh, Dota Tate for the treatment of neuroendocrine tumors in the United States, and it was approved in 2017 in Europe. I think Theranostics has a great future. It actually is now also extending to other indications uh, like pancreatic adenocarcinoma, uh, also to lymphoma, to lung cancer, colon cancer, breast cancer. So it's really becoming a part of the mainstream in, in oncology. If you can get to this clinic, the Bad Berker Clinic here in Germany, and have the grace and good fortune to be under Professor Baum's care, it's the best place to be, seriously, because the man's a genius, it's as simple as that.